The ship sailed down the west coast of Italy through the Straits of Messina, round the bottom of the boot, and back up the east coast of Italy to Venice. We had a whole day at sea during this process, and that, that night they had a formal dinner, and of course we didn't have any formal attire. Uh, we did the best we could, but uh, we felt woefully underdressed. And then we sailed into Venice. It was pretty cool as the cruise ship came in the main estuary right by downtown Venice and we got to see St. Mark's Square and the Palacio from, uh, from the height of the cruise deck. It was pretty cool. And of course, no sooner did we dock than it was on another t tour boat. I, lo I love the way the shot shows Anna as we pass this other cruise ship. It makes her look like the Statue of Liberty. First stop of the tour that we had set up was on the island of Murano where we visited the glassworks and saw some cool glass blowing demonstration. Then back on the boat and over to San Giorgio Island to visit the basilica there, which had a terrific photo op from the square in front of the basilica looking back over towards Campanile. And then over onto the main island to tour around and of course a gondola ride. Got to do that when you go to Venice. All right, here we are on our gondola ride. Oh, Video. Videoing. I know, it'd be bad. After our gondola ride, we wandered around the streets of Venice, of course, through St. Mark's Square. I thought it was amazing that the Italians chose to build a replica of the Campanile on the Cal campus. And we just really enjoyed Venice, going up and down the canals, over the little bridges. We found a really neat little outdoor cafe that we had dinner at. Uh, the Italians were playing in the World Cup that night, and a guy had put little Italian flags on Connors and I faces that we passed. Then it was back to the ship.